Close your eyes and imagine the future. What do you see? Do you see yourself? Do you see others of the same ethnicity? Do you include elements of the present and the past or do you change things? Is the sky purple? Can cows float? What is your future? Everyone has a different version of the future, but what does yours look like if you don't know your past? This is where Afrofuturism comes in. Afrofuturism was coined in 1994 by a man named Mark Dury, but it existed well before and beyond then with works by many notable African-American artists like Octavia Butler, Janelle Monae, Tracy K. Smith, and many, many others. Afrofuturism can be defined by a combination of genres, usually sci-fi or fantasy, that explores the African-American experience and connects them with their forgotten or most likely stolen past. If you want a checklist to see if a text, movie, or anything is Afrofuturistic, then see the points that were so heavily put together by our teacher, Ms. Matter. Afrofuturism contains a mixture of several elements, like a reassertion of black culture and self-liberation, revisioning of the past through illusions and symbolism, or predictions of the future in a hopeful lens. Many different works have elements of these genres, like Scream by Michael Jackson, Lovecraft Country by Misha Green, Tightrope by Janelle Monet, etc. These and the works of other Afrofuturistic authors create a world where African Americans can see themselves not as the minority, but as something beyond themselves. So I have one last question for you. When you next imagine the future, make sure to be inclusive because the future is for all. And especially make sure to spread the stories of Afrofuturism because everyone is equally important.